Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from I Just and Drawings and today we're going to be doing Siemens S400 first generation PLC firmware update and we're going to be updating from 2.1 to 2.2 and the reason I want to update from 2.1 to 2.2 because VTIA Portal V16 does not support upload for the uh, S400 series PLC if it is below 2.2 so and my particular PLC, the max it can go is to 2.2. So I want to update to that one so I don't have to uh, jump back and forth between different TI poles. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do today. And the size of the uh, uh, memory card that you need is 24 megabytes. I'm using a lot bigger. So it has to be minimum. It looks like that. So, and this particular card is uh, 256 megs, as I said, and uh, the minimum you require is 24. So, uh, what we're going to be doing, we're gonna, and uh, there's two types of these. Uh, there's, uh, one of them is for C, 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 uh, what's it called? Uh, SMC uh, standard version, which is, uh, which is this one, and there's the one with the HMI. So, the HMI doesn't, will not be able to do this. You will need to do it, especially buy these, and these are pricey, I'm not going to lie. I think the... 24 megabyte one is roughly about depending who you buy from i think it's about 200 pounds or something like here in the uk and obviously the bigger they go the more expensive they get so they are pricey but they are not just used for uh, uh software updates uh, i mean software, the controller firmware updates it is also used for uh, storing the program for your PLC for backups and things like that, which you're going to be checking out later on in the videos. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. All the related videos and the I think do believe in build uh, benefit in a possible way will be in the description below. So do check it out. I try to find as much as uh, as much as information as I can to put them in the description below, so you guys can I don't have to go and uh, search the web and and uh, to find out what is what. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So uh, on that, let's get started. All righty, so the first thing we need to do, we're going to go to Siemens Mall. Siemens Mall. And there, uh, we need to find out uh, the firmware version we can have for this and download it. Product search. Once you find your controller, go into the controller itself. Go into downloads and services. That is literally from all the controllers. In the future, we'll be checking out quite a lot of them when it comes down to firmware updates. Into the downloads. As you can see down there, operating system for a uh, CPU 1212C. And as you can do down there, as you can see, it shows you all the descriptions how to update your firmware and things like that. So, and in here is showing you the last firmware that was available for this controller. Is this one? Just click download. Do make sure you need to be registered and approved by Siemens to do that. So, do make sure that's done before. I already done that. So, there is my file in here. So, the first thing we're going to do is a, uh, as you can see, already uh, loaded in and. Uh, when in online and as you can see my firmware version is 2.1.2 and i want that to be to be 2.2.2 and the next thing what we need to do is we need to go see there's a card re reader memory usb click on that one then removable devices and then this one and click properties because we need to define what this card is going to be used for and whatever you do, do not format this card on the Windows because they will wipe the wipe the whole thing off. So, so actually, to show it to you, as you can see, it should show up like this. As you can see, I have 256 megabytes, but five megabytes is being used for uh, Siemens stuff in there. So I don't know something that allows the uh, CPU to read the, the actual uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, SD card. So uh, so yeah, it looks empty. But there's something in it so uh but we need to set define what we want that card to be so uh we're gonna go in here and then we say a firmware update and then we're gonna click okay and what we're gonna do is gonna update the cards used now so that's been done so haven't done that so uh we all we're gonna need to do now is go into this guy in here uh double click on it and it's going to prompt you uh, run uh, well unzip it. So what we need to do, we need to unzip it. So let's let's find the where we want to unzip it. Uh, was E 
click on that one so it's gonna unzip in here and click unzip and there we go so uh, unzip successfully and should have it should add all the files in your uh, uh, as you can see it's all in here now so that's pretty much is ready to run the update once you've done that uh, let's jump onto a controller and go from there here we are so you plug it in so one thing is going to do is you're going to maintenance light will flash up so uh, pretty much what we need to do we need to do the power cycle turn it off turn it back on and it will uh, proceed to uh, the copying so uh, here we go so uh, as you can see it's done that so then now it's going to be running a uh, run a stop flashing so we need to wait until the uh, run a uh, stop a uh, flashing uh, stops flashing from green to yellow and becomes a solid uh, yellow and maintenance is a uh, flashing so uh, it takes a it takes a quite a bit of time so uh, I'm gonna pause it in here and once it once it finishes doing finishes the flashing I'll come back on so we have to just wait so we, uh, it could take up to four to five minutes so uh, we'll see in a bit. Here we are, so as you can see, my uh, run stop has uh, become a solid yellow and a uh, maintenance is flashing. That indicates to you the firmware update has been uh, done and is good to go and you pretty much need to remove your memory card now. So uh, we, remove, we remove the current memory card, we need to do one more power cycle. Turn it off, turn it back on and that should go into a solid yellow. Shouldn't go away. Here we go. So uh, let's jump back on a, a, a computer and see where we are. Here we are. So let's go uh, look for our accessible nodes. So search for them. Let's load it back in. Here is our PLC. Show. And let's go in diagnostics. And here we go. So our firmware version now has been updated to 2.2. And that, ladies and gentlemen, how you update the older versions, uh, older versions. So uh, basically, the ones that the, I think it's the first uh, this class is the first generation PLCs. So that's how you want to update it. And now I should be able to because uh, when it's below 2.2. I may will upload the uh, I mean the, the upload the program from the controller. So what we're gonna do in here? So let's get, jump onto that one. Let's go online. The program is not affected, so that should be all still in there. There we go. So and we should be able to. Yep, as you can see now, I am able to uh, use a V uh, TI Portal V16 to be able to work uh, to be able to work with a. Uh, uh, all the versions, uh, all the versions of a um, uh, PLCs, the first generation PLCs, and that will do, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, this is uh, giving you a good idea how it's all working and uh, how it should be done. So, other than that, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe and uh, what well, uh, and all the related anything uh, related videos and manuals and things like that. I do believe in perfect in any possible way. It will be in the description below. Ask any questions and I'll answer them as soon as accurate as I can. And on that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.